will get you started with your own business by establishing what is your big idea. Now, what Singapore. Is on the left, I'm getting ready to light up Singapore. These people are going to be flying. Right, They're going to be flying. Wings. People are going to have wings. Right. Wow. How many of you have heard of this? This the book room is based upon one main people that want to do better. Do you want to do better? Outsourcing. Now, outsourcing is not a new thing. However, if this... Hi, Hi. we're in Singapore Hi. and we're excited to watch Grand Cordonin. Gary V. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's awesome to be here at Success Resource. We are so looking forward to just listening to all the advice that Grant has to offer. Super excited to be here today to get the knowledge from Grant Cardone and to have an awesome day with Success Resources. Thank you. All entrepreneurs, all people looking to do better, all of them are going to get introduced. Now, Game Changer Intensive is going to be to 10x. the same thing. It is Please help me welcome Grant Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Singapore. Give yourselves a big hand for being here. Give yourselves a big hand. Come on. Light this place up. Who wants to make more money? Who wants to make more money? Who wants to make more money? money stand up if you want to make more money that's what I'm here for stand up do you want to make more money yeah. let me hear you do you want to make more money yeah. do you need to make more money yeah. right sit down and let's make some money if you have made sense of not having enough money if you your wife you your husband you and your family have made sense of being poor shame on you that's a mental disease right there Okay? The biggest mental disease on this planet is not the labels they're passing around. OCD, ADD, ADHD, insanity, bipolar. I've been called all those, by the way. How many of you have been labeled ADD in the room? A lady told me once, well, you got ADD? I said, I don't add, babe. I don't add, I multiply. I'm the 10X man. I gave up addition in the fifth grade. I count like Jay-Z does, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 20 million, I'm so good at math. You gotta skip. You guys are still adding things, you gotta skip. You gotta learn how to skip, you understand? Hey, I gotta learn how to make 60 grand a year, and then 80 grand a year, and then 140,000 a year, and at some point, you gotta psst, skip to a million dollars. Because to live in Singapore, you need a million dollars. You probably need five million, and if you want to actually have a life, you probably need, I'm gonna tell you what I think the number is. Where are the pins at? We ran out of money. Ran out of money, no ink, no pins, but we got a flip chart. This Johnny the camera guy, give Johnny the camera guy a big hand. Okay. I think the number's this. Somebody asked me the other night, I said, what do, you think, what, do you, what do you think a person would actually need to live in this city? Financially free, independent, do what you want, go where you want, be with who you want. How about this? Say no to some customers. I don't want to do business with you. How many of you would like to tell a customer, you need to leave my office right now? I need to ask, excuse me, is that you on the phone? Click. I don't need you. How many of you like to be in that position? I'll show you how to get in that position today. I'm in that position today. 25 years old, I had to take a job I hated. I had to take a job I hated, and I had to love or learn to love the job I hated. In fact, I got great at a job I hated. I would recommend this for everyone in the room. Some people today might even tell you that you should only do the things you love. It's ridiculous, okay? Of all the speakers that are on the stage today, as much as I respect everybody here, the one thing I have done in my, my career is I have gotten my finances in a place where I can do what I want, go where I want, take as many people as I want, stay as long as I want, leave if I want to, walk out of a hotel. Sir, this hotel is non-refundable. Good, keep the money. I don't care. It's a non-event. Let's roll. Next place. How many of you like to be in that situation? Okay, it's called financial freedom. You don't want money, you want freedom. You don't want money, okay? Has this grown yet? Anything happened yet? 
Huh? Let me just check. No? 52 singy wingies. Okay, we're going to leave it up there for a while and see what happens. Because your parents said, save your money. Didn't they tell you? Help me out here. A penny saved is a penny earned. No matter where I go in the world. Okay, I'm in Australia. I'm in America. I'm in London. I'm in Singapore. A penny saved is a penny earned. Folks, a penny is a penny. <laughs> Ain't never going to be more than a penny. It's a penny. And most of you won't even pick it up today. Would you agree? Don't blame me, by the way. Pick up, you can pick up as many pennies as you want. Nothing's going to happen because you pick up pennies. The reality of the situation is this. If you're going to do come to events like this and get information, you need to connect the information to something you can measure. And that, ladies and gentlemen, to me would be money. Okay? Because money is the, the, the consistent factor wherever you go on this planet. I go to Hong Kong, I guarantee you it makes Singapore look cheap. Right? I go to London, I'm like, whoa, 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 that's expensive too. I go to LA, wow, wow. New York, wow, wow. I go to Sydney, looks like a deal. Except to the people in Sydney. Oh, everything's so expensive here. Go to Singapore, whoa, Sydney. See, you see what I'm saying? Pro the problem is you, you're having to confront economics every day. Economics is the consistent factor on this planet, all right? You should look up two words before you leave here today or throughout the weekend. Two words. One, you should look up the word economics. Economics, in your book, if you're writing this down, economics is defined as management of a household. How many of you looked at your finances this morning? Be honest. How many of you looked at every account you had this morning? Let me see hands. Three or four or five people. I look at my finances every day. Every morning I look at my finances. I want to confront management of the household. I am in charge of the money in my household. Every single day for 35 years, I look at my finances. Every single day. How much money is in this account? 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 $1,000, 1000 US dollars for anybody that knows why I look at my cash accounts every day. No, not actually, but I like that. So you can track it. No, not because I can track it. No, not so I can 10 exit, so I can get rid of it. I don't want money. I want my money having babies. Okay, this little dude on this 50, what's his name? Whatever. I need him to make some babies for me. Okay, I need him to populate my other bank accounts. So the reason I look at how much money I have every day is I got, I got to put him to work. This dude needs to get to work even though he's dead. He needs to go to work for me. You understand? Money is trash. Money is garbage. Okay, help me out here. Cash is? King, that's what you were told. You know who told you that? The banks told you that. Cash flow is king. Cash flow is king. Cash flow, say it again, man. Cash flow is king. Cash flow is king. You want cash flow. I want, you want to write this down. I want more passive income than I want earned income. The goal should be for everybody in the room, I'm just going to set some goals for you because the reality is nobody knows how to set goals on this planet. You want more passive income Income I get that I didn't work for, I want more of that than I want income that I worked for. And once I get more passive income than earned income, what do I do with the earned income? I keep it. Dude, never walk away from income. What's wrong with you, man? That man's insane. Okay, most people, by the way, are insane with money. Most people in the most, most of you in the room, you need to understand, dude, if you don't have money, you're crazy. Something's wrong with you. Raise your hand if there's something wrong with you. Let me just see. Put your hand in the air if there potentially could be something wrong with you. 
Okay, the rest of you in the room that didn't raise your hand, how do you explain not having enough money then? Well, it's the economy. Here, here's your excuses, I'll give them all to you. It's the economy, it's regulations, it's the property, it's property taxes, it's, it, it, it's Singapore, it, it, it's my, uh, my education. Oh, oh, they laid me off from Microsoft. These are excuses that you have. You're making sense to being broke. Bill Gates said, if you're born poor, not your fault. You die poor, your fault. When I was 16 years old and I couldn't help my mom, all I wanted to do was help my mom. The only reason I wanted money was I didn't want my mom to be scared. And I couldn't solve the problem. I told my mom when I was 16 years old, one day I'm going to become super successful. And when I do, I'm not going to worry about money and I'm going to help a bunch of people. Okay, I'm in a situation now to come to Singapore and help you. I want to help you. I can help people in America. I can just keep helping people there. I can help people online on YouTube and Instagram. I can help people on Twitter and Snapchat and, and LinkedIn. I can do that. Or I could get on my plane and fly to Singapore and say, I want to help people I don't even know. How many of you would like to be in a situation where you could help people you don't even know? Okay. I'm going to tell you something more valuable than money. More valuable than money is to have friends all over the world. Okay, our, my goal, our goal, my family's goal, my team's goal is to literally cover, cover this planet, invest energy and resources in the entire planet, not just Singapore. We're going to go to Malaysia when I leave here, okay? We're going to leave there and we're going to go to Vietnam and then we're going to go to Thailand and then we're going to go to the Philippines and I'm going to go to Australia and I'm going to go to Russia. I'm going to make friends all over the world. I want people all over the world to know my name because if people don't know you, they can't flow you. If people don't know you, this is what our presentation was this morning, dude. Marketing. I got to know who you are. Do I know who you are? Who are you? Everybody try this. Hey! hey. Now that won't work. Okay? If you want all the money in the universe to come your way, you got to get attention. So I'm going to walk through these three things today. 25 years old. I just want to keep you in mind where I was. Okay? Two words you want. Economy and you want to look up the word entrepreneur. In 25 years old, I wanted to become an entrepreneur. It took me 20 years to figure out how to be a, a real entrepreneur. You guys got to pay the price. Okay, there's no shortcut in the deal. I'm going to give you three little things you can do. Okay, number one thing, number one thing you got to do uh, to guarantee your success is you have to understand this thing called the 10x rule. You should already have what you want. I spent 20 years between the age of 25 and 45 years old being a salesperson, basically. Learning sales, getting really, really good at sales, accumulating money. I had three little businesses between the age of 25, started them all with no money, no cash, no connections, didn't know anybody. Had a first little business, went out and started calling on people, offered a service. Hey, check it out. This is before, way before Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and all the possibilities that exist today. <clears throat> today, we started with no money. My first year, I made $30,000 in my business. Second year, I made $30,000. Third year, I made $36,000. This year, last year, we made $158 million. Okay, somewhere along the line, it was like whoosh, straight up. Okay, the first 20 years were like this. I'm gonna actually show you a chart here for the last seven years in a little bit. But the first 20 years was like this. And then all of a sudden, it just went straight up. How many of you like to know what caused this? You guys gotta figure out this. You gotta stay in there while it's going like this. When the graph is doing this, okay, when the graph of your life, you're 25 years old right here, and the graph is going, you gotta hang in there right there. It's ugly, it's terrible. You're scared, you're terrified, okay? But this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the launch. When you listen to, to if you go back and study anything Steve Jobs did or Bill Gates, you need to study them when they're doing this, not where they are today, okay? You, don't, you, you listen to a guy here say, yeah, but dude, tell me about this. Because if you ask Bill Gates right now, what is the importance of money, Bill? He'll be like, you know, after you got a million dollars, it's just more millions. That's not what he was saying right here. Right here, he's saying, I need some more money. Everybody agree? Once you become worth 80 billion, you're like, yeah, money won't make you happy. How many heard that before, by the way? Money won't make you happy. 
Huh? How many of you got a friend that tells you this all the time? Oh, you're going to you're going to that conference? You know, money won't make you happy. You know that, right? How many heard that before? Let me see a hand. The guy that was telling you that, he ain't got any money. <laughs> Guarantee he ain't got any money. This is how money works. Do you guys understand how an economy actually works? This is how it works. What do you do for a living, sir? Uh, army. You what? In the army. Army? You're in the army? That's awesome, man. Appreciate your service. Thank you so much, all right? Um, is there anything you could do for me? I think, what do you need? I don't know. Could you protect me? Could you be my security? Mm, depends. Depends? You sound like Michael Lane. <laughs> Y'all don't know who Michael Lane is. He's always saying it depends, okay? Okay, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hire you for security $1,000, okay? Now, Tan, I go over there and get Richard Tan's attention. Hey! Don't pay attention to me. can't do this. Oh, this is too much. You guys want to be broke? You want to spend the rest of your life worried about money? You have to learn this. Okay? You got to think bigger. You got to do more. I get his attention. He gives me $1,000. He gets my attention. I give the $1,000. What do you do, sir? Corporate services. Corporate services. Okay? I want you to give him some of your corporate services. Would you agree to do that, sir? And he's going to pass on that thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. He's got corporate services. I got security and I don't know what I did for Richard. Okay. <laughs> what do you, what do you do? Let me go to one of the, what do you do? Luggage. Luggage. You need some luggage, don't you? Yes. Oh, I know you do. I know you do. What color you like? Blue. Blue. Uh, blue luggage. Thousand dollars goes to the lady with the blue luggage, right? And she comes. To, she's like, Grant, I want to go to your boot camp uh, uh, in Miami, and, and I want to. I want to put a thousand dollars down on your boot camp. And she gives me the thousand dollars back. Okay. And then I find out that Richard's doing some investment. And I'm like, Richard, can you run run that back over to Richard over there? Okay. Because I don't want him to think I kept this thousand. And, and, and he's doing an investment. I'm like, Richard, I want to invest $1,000 with you because you're a good partner. How much money was that? Huh? How much money was it? It was $1,000. When he gave it to me, it was $2,000. When I gave it to him, it became $3,000. Then $4,000. Then $5,000. $6,000. And now it's $7,000. That is how an economy works. It does not work because you keep money in a drawer, or in a wall, or in a bank. Money grows when it moves, okay? You wanna write this down, money grows when it moves. When he said, I don't know what I can do for you, money stops, right or wrong? When you go to buy something, uh, let me think about it. How many of you in the room think about everything? You were bought, brought up to do this. Never make a rash decision, ever, right? Guess what? Money stops. Now you go to work and you try to sell something and guess what your customer is going to tell you? We never make a rash decision. And you're like, I understand. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> and money stops. You get it? Anything short of 10x planning, okay? 10x thinking, 10x actions. I need, I, need, I need 10 people. If I have 10 people, then I'm going to sell two of them. Anything short of 10 times that budget or calculation will fail you, I promise you. So if you think it takes 10, multiply by what? You multiply times 10. If you think a million dollars is a great financial target, 10x rule says, no, 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 no. If that's what you think it takes, Anything short of 10x thinking, actions, and planning will fail you, okay? Everybody stand up real quick. Stand up for me, and I'm going to end with this. Stand up. Everybody stand up, okay? And repeat after me. I am committed. I am committed. No, no, no. I am committed. I am committed. I am 10x. I am 10x. I commit to more money. I commit to more money. I commit to investing time. No, 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 get it up. I commit to investing time. I commit to investing money. I want a 10x life. Thank you very much. Thank you.